Hello, Silly Moustache here. I spend far too much time on forums and I see phases of questions going around. At the moment, there's another question on certain forums about picks and people's concerns about buying $35 or more on, um, on expensive picks and losing them. When I got my first blue chip pick, and I can't remember when that was, I was um, similarly concerned. So this is my solution. It's not the right one for everyone, but it might be of interest to you. And yes, you can buy cheaper things. This is what I use. This is a Princess Mary box. This is an antique item. It was commissioned, or the construction of millions of them, was, were commissioned by Princess Mary in, for Christmas 1914, uh, when um, uh, British and Empire troops were busy in trenches and at sea and in the air. So she thought she would have a lot of these made and send them out with little gifts and a card inside to everybody that was um, uh, out there fighting World War I, which was supposed to finish at Christmas 1914, but didn't quite work out like that. This in itself is valuable. It's an antique. In 2018, which was the centenary, centenary these things went up to over £100 each. I had got most of mine by then. However, a British newspaper thought that it would be jolly fun to have some replicas made. Now, these aren't as well made, of course, but they are still very utilitarian for our purposes. Why have I got this? Okay, why did I choose these? Um, let me explain. Here's my guitar in its case. Um, when I take it out to go and play or whatever, I will take out two boxes. The first one is my TC Electronics Unitunes, which have replaced all of my Planet Waves and Adarios and Snarks and things like that. The other is my Princess Mary box. I've got it labelled for each guitar because I keep my simple Shub Capos C3, I believe they are, which is set for that guitar. It won't easily fit without adjustment to other ones. So each guitar deserves its own capo. And inside I have my very, very precious TAD 50. TAD 50 blue chip. I have TAD 50s on guitars that have medium strings and TAD 40s that have light gauge strings. I also have a backup, which is my Wagon, Wagon TF140. Yes, I've painted it red to show that it's a 140 rather than a 120, which I use on smaller guitars. I've also got in here a another thing which is really quite like tortoiseshell. It's called Buffalo Horn, and I got a number of these cheap, so I keep them as spares. But like um, uh, tortoiseshell, they do wear... Uh, somewhat so I'll talk about those in another video so there's my box so when I get to a gig or to my club or whatever I take this out and I put it next to me and I know exactly where my important stuff is and I'm not going to forget this because when I've finished I put it away in my accessory box along with my along with my tuner in its original box and I'm set that's it I've got my guitar strap in the headstock so it's all ready and waiting for me and I'm not going to forget anything I hope I haven't spoken too fast about that so that's all I wanted to say um, these things are somewhat cheaper than they were in uh, 2018 uh, when at the centenary they went up to about 100 pounds have I said that already and they're down about 20 to 30 pounds now make sure you get a good one if you have found that interesting, let me know. I enjoy your comments. I always try to reply. Uh, so if you have been, thanks for watching. Bye.